Uh oh, we just got a green beast the other way. Oh, might get my full stop out. Ah, oh, I just got Enigma. I'm on the wrong side of that. All right, I'm closing it. Go ahead and take in that small loss. Not going to turn into a big one. Okay, y'all study what I just did right there, okay? Remember, when it comes back in your direction, dude, if I'm wrong on it, I do not want to mess with that. I'm not trying to turn a loser into a winner. Like, if you can take that principle and learn that from me, I'm telling you, it will be a game changer for you to not... You will take less losses in general. Well, actually, you'll take more losses, but you will have less loss overall. If it, if it digs on you, listen, a play is either going to absolutely play out or it's not. And why not have the ones that aren't just close it out quickly? All right, so let's let's show this with just my stats. Let's do this with just cyborg stats. And we'll be able to compare them side by side. Uh, this looks like it's too zoomed in for some reason. What's going on with that? Is that 80 zoom level? I think 80 is the sweet spot there. Speed up when you play hard, you work hard, don't play at all. Teddy Roosevelt, I like that. I'll go back to the world. Um, let's see, let's change this. Let's filter it just for me. All right, so where am I at for the day? I'm at 81%. Profit factor, 2.63. Remember how I told you guys like 2.7 is that sweet spot? You guys have heard me say this, right? Uh, now this is a little high on the percent profitable side. Mind you, this is me going on Enigma, okay? Uh, Enigma's better. I, I'm just, I, it, I don't know, I don't want to say if it's better. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it, I have to have less thought process involved in the decision making. So my percent profit is probably going to go up, but hopefully my profit factor is somewhere in the neighborhood of 2.7. That's what, that's my personal endeavors. Is it possible? Yeah, absolutely. It's That's what we can do. But that means small stops, big winners. Does everybody, everybody understand that? Like you've got, if you do, if you eliminate the small stops, I had a conversation with somebody yesterday. He's new with us. Um, we talked on the phone and he's, I can already tell, you know, he's struggling with it. We talked about it. Uh, struggling with, he's moving his stops. He's still letting hard stops be his exit. He's, you know, he hasn't gone through all the videos either. He thought he could skip through all the videos. So I, I encourage you guys, listen, I have the videos there for a reason. You do need to go through the videos. Okay. If you don't, you are going to miss out on the little keys in there. Like if I'm telling you, like if a play, I have an advanced stop strategy. If I've got some zone behind the stop area where I can, quote, play back behind it, I'm not trying to turn a loser into a winner. I'm trying to turn a loser into a smaller loser. Let me repeat that one more time. I am trying to turn a loser into a smaller loser. I'm going to say that one more time, and you should write it down or lock it into your brain, however your method of locking it into your brain is. You're trying to turn a loser into a smaller loser. You got it? Not trying to turn a loser into a winner. So if a play comes against you, it's not perfect, then it's going to be a stop. Yeah, and don't let it touch your stop. Like there's another one, like don't don't move the stop, right? The physical one, that's your that's your safety stop. That's your, oh shoot, they'll totally got it wrong. Okay, worst case scenario, stop. It comes in on your ATM. But you should be using that close button, just like it did just a minute ago, okay? And sure, that one, that could have turned into a winner. That one right down here, okay? I got sure it would have popped down there, and yes, I could have taken out that winner, but that doesn't happen all the time. Right? And the majority of the time, it comes right back and then zooms on you. Speed almost comes back to your point of entry, that. and then you get wrecked, right? Speed um, speed that's speed what you don't want to do. Turn the loser into a smaller loser by pressing the close. Okay, Make that close button something you use often. You should be using that close button, I don't say as often as you're using the buy sell, but pretty darn close. Like It should be a two-to-one ratio, maybe, of going ahead and having to close out that position okay? manually by hand. Press the like button, share, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts and what you'd learn. Watch this next video.